Welcome everybody to another video. I'm another Magento dev. In this video, I wanted to talk about jQuery. Um, I still find it extremely relevant. Um, I still find it extremely useful. I find particularly with Magento, it's my go-to JavaScript framework for Magento basically. Or for, for, let's put it a bit more specific than that. It's my go-to framework, JavaScript framework for theme development, for anything that you want to add to a theme. Um, and, and usually this is just small stuff like sticky headers, back to top buttons. Um, I mean, to be fair, I've used it more recently for, for more advanced stuff like lazy loading images, that, that type of thing. Um, Obviously, you know, we've got knockout JS, we can use other types of JS in modules and, and yeah, it'd be easy enough to set that up. But I find as a, as a lead developer, I find jQuery so much easier to write and write well and, and write in a real, in a, in a clear way, um, with clear, clear functions than than writing knockout and explaining that to to junior junior magento devs i think i think jquery is still very relevant and, and very useful so today in this video i wanted to show you some of my sort of best practices if you like um obviously there's there's right ways and wrong ways of, of using all types of frameworks and and scripts and and, and things so it's it's one of those where it depends on how much sort of care and attention you want to give it and how much and how much you want to sort of you want to you want to get into it um because jquery can be used quick it can be used quick and dirty to just get something working um but i believe if you set up your project right um, and you set up your theme right and by right i mean the way i'm going to suggest to do it but there'll be there'll be loads of other rights um i think i think jquery can be as neat and tidy as ES6, it can be as neat and tidy as, you know, as, as, as sort of knockout scenes. Uh, but, you know, and, and you can use it in the same way as, as knockout. You can use jQuery to, to build template code, to build HTML code on the fly, um, which I think that might be something that we that we look at in, in, in this video, actually. I think what I'm going to do just to sort of talk through the talk through the way I would, would put it into a theme is probably on this demo here, I'll, I'll put a, how about a back to top button or something like that, that, um, that we can, that we can sort of, you know, append to the page because, you know, a back to top button, for example, you could do it in many ways. You could, you could add a, you could add a HTML file or a PHTML file to your template and have your button in there and have it sort of show and hide on, on scroll or you can have um you know you can you can inject if you like or, or inject the the html using jquery as you scroll down or or as the page loads anyway loads of different ways you can do it but let's let's run through some of the sort of like more basic setup concepts now because i think these things will be helpful so the theme the key things in your theme, it's basically, don't forget this, require JS config, um, config JS file. So this is essentially appending your file, your custom JavaScript file, mine's called app.js here, but you can have like folders, but you can have as many of these as a dependency. Um, so this is a real basic example. You just have to sort of put the path relative to the web directory, um, and as you can see, it's JS, app JS. So dead simple to get started. That is basically it. Um, and obviously, you've got to have a, you've got to have an app JS as well. So this is a bit of skeleton sort of boilerplate. What I always start with now with Magento two. You can do this in PHML templates. I've covered this before with um, adding sliders and things to your related products. And I might might go over that again actually. But you've got to define your library. And Magento has jQuery built into lib. So you can you can ship it. You can. It's not. You don't need to add jQuery. You don't need to add the latest version. It's built in, so it's dead useful. So you're basically just defining jQuery, and then you're writing one overriding function there, um, and you're you're passing in dollar, which is important for jQuery. You want to be using dollar, um, and now this this is this is me. Um, I, I like to I like to write jQuery as functions. I like to keep everything 
sort of in separate functions. I like sometimes she would multiple functions and retain values and pass them into other functions, depending on uh, the complexity of the functionality I'm trying to trying to build. But essentially, the concepts are fairly simple. So it, we could do this in any order, really. But I would write a function and you can do this in, in, in a few ways. You could I could write a function, say I want to call one test just to start off with. Um, and I could write it as test function. Um, and then if I needed to pass in a variable, I could pass it in there. Uh, but Or you can write it shorthand, which I tend to uh, test. And then say, for example, we just log something to the console. Um, then the next thing you can do is pass it into this object, because this is essentially an object um, that's going to be initialized here um, when the document's ready. So you're sort of taking care of that all in one false swoop. So it means you don't need any document ready or, or functions in your in your in your functions. So we'll go for this um, and then we'll go for test in Paddy. Um, and we'll also just make sure uh, we run mix. I'll just um, in my theme, get going, lovely, um, and it should now, if I just refresh this, in here, in the console, yeah, test here. So you can see it's, it's sort of, um, it, it's working, essentially this file is working, it's a dead easy setup, as I say, two files, you've got all of your JavaScript file, um, and you've got one of your um, Quite just file now. If you wanted to, bin men, sorry. Uh, if you wanted to make it a bit more complex, or even sort of like make it more modular, you could have a components uh, folder, and then you could uh, import your different uh, other it, 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 smaller files in. To um, in fact, I'm just going to stop it there while they empty the bins, and uh, I'll be right back. I think they've, uh, I think they've, I think they've pissed off now. Um, it's blue bin day, so it's like recycling. Um, so the smashing bottles and car alarms are going off and all sorts. So I've not got a clue what they're, what they're doing. So anyway, anyway, I think we're clear. So yeah, so let's write some, let's write some functions. Let's, let's, let's write some sort of simple jQuery in functions and, and get something working on, on the front end and I'll sort of can, can talk about my, my workflow as I, as I go. So we'll do a we'll do a back to top button because um, that way we can put some HTML on a page, get it working with and, and we'll just do it all in all in JavaScript. All, all in all in JavaScript. So we'll call it back write a new function back back to top. Oh, no, back to top. Um, we'll write it short angle like that and See what that is. I've got some sort of hints going on. Oh, it's expecting a comma there. Um, and then we'll just okay, back to top. So first of all, the first part of it, we'll um, we'll put some HTML. We'll append append to some HTML to sort of this area of the body tag here. So we'll append to the body tag. Um, so we'll just have a div. Uh, on it to top and uh, what we're doing uh, and then we'll have yeah, call it top for, for now something real simple so you can use i'll show you how to write this in a different way actually which is quite handy particularly when you're like trying to build more complicated html structures via um via javascript but there's a sort of a, another way you can do it. Uh, and anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, when, when you're dealing with like something real simple, you can just write it as a string like that. But it's when you could, it needs to go onto other lines. You want to be using, um, you want to be using a slightly different syntax, which I can, I can touch on, uh, and I'll, I'll, I will do in a sec. So we'll just save that, and it should, it should compile. And now, if I just refresh, when it look, yeah. So it's appended my, um, it's appended my top button. But obviously, you, you can't see it. We're going to probably have to write some CSS as well, which I know everybody enjoys. So we'll um, we'll bang some CSS in here as well to get it to, to get it to show. Um, I'll just pull that. Top. Top. 
it and we'll give it a position of fixed and bottom zero left zero and around it so we can see it and black um, and x left is in jar of Okie dokie. I haven't got my uh, auto reload on, that would have been a good place to show off on it. Uh, but I didn't have it switched on, so better look next time. Oh, you can just see it there. What have we missing? Answers in the comments. Seriously, put it in the comments for a laugh. Maybe it'll, uh, it'll help my videos rank. There we go. We've got a little little top button being appended to the um, thing there. And you know what? Just to finish it off, it's a bugbear of mine when people don't do that. Juniors never do that. Juniors never put a cursor pointer ever. Never do it. Um, but there it is. Um, so we've got a little to top button, and that's been just added on page load. You see, it don't it don't mess about. It just pings in as soon as the uh, document's ready. Okay. So ne next part of it is is the scroll top part of it. So it's a bit more complicated. So I just borrowed. I just borrowed this. Um, so, I'm going to have to list all this in here and we'll talk through it. So, what we've got? We have got a dollar window. So, it's saying like window, you can you can use window, you can use body, you can, depending on the type of. Um, application you 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 make it uh, you're making you might have to use different or, or how the page loads in different areas you might have to use something slightly different why is that gone what am I pasting in right do this in bits because I can never see the woods for the trees there uh, oops I can never see the woods for the trees um what done wrong there this all should go in a in time <laughs> Ah, ah, right, 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 right. Okay. It's in that. Oh, it's in that. Yes. Right, then. I was missing. That's also a, a rookie error, isn't it? Missing your uh, closing tag in jQuery always, always catches you out. So, on scroll, this is going to fade in as soon as you start to scroll. It's going to fade in, um, and then it's going to. As you, as you obviously as it gets to the top, um, it's gonna it's gonna fade out again, and then on click, it's gonna zoom from wherever you are on the page and animate in one second back to the back to the top. Um, save that, give that a refresh, and see if it works. It doesn't work. Why don't it work? I get an error. What's that? What have I done wrong? Yeah, I called it to top, then I to top. Hang on a minute. Let's just get rid of this bit for now. Let's see if we can get the fade working. And what we'll need actually this to be displayed on by default there we go so that bit's working you see it's hidden a little bit by the by the uh, link thing but if i just don't go on a link look so i go to the top goes off it comes on so that's a handy little obviously you can use fade in and and, uh, and fade out dead sort of stock jquery uh, functions um Okay, so that's fading in and fading out. So now I'm wondering if it is a the click function. That's not quite that's not quite having it. So what I'll do is I'll write this separately and then paste in the animate. So hang on. Yeah, it is inside the, the scroll function, won it? Silly sausage. Um 
So if I borrow that again, actually, it was a it was an obvious obvious error. Um, I need it outside of. So this actually makes my point. It'd be better if we had these in different functions. So we've got like the back to top HTML. Change that HTML. And then we've got, obviously this is for the sake of it, we could have a scroll function. Call it ETT scroll. And scroll function in that. And then we could also have here from the link, wherever BTT click. Obviously, this is overkill for a back to the top button, but it illustrates my point, I think. Um, and then we'll have the click function in there. To the top, and then, yeah. Okay. Well, then we need to add these to. This and the click and then this ETT scroll. Okay, let's see if we get any joy out of this now. Okay, so as you scroll down, she fades in. And when you click, you go back to the top. So shows spending a bit of time um setting up your um your JS file for jQuery, uh, writing it in separate fun writing um, different things in, in separate functions, uh, keeping your code as, as modular as, as possible helps for a lot of reasons, for debugging, uh, for clarity, for passing on to other developers, and um, it works well in Magento, um, and dead easy, dead easy to set up jQuery uh, in Magento as well. So if you like this content, put a like on the video, um, a positive comment goes a long way uh, uh, as well, and I'll uh, I'll see what else we can do. But um, yeah, take care.